probably the biggest game to get a new episode every year is of course FIFA. And uh, it's a new year, it's a new game, FIFA mm -hmm. 13, but also at pretty much the same point in time, uh, Pro Evolution Saga 13 uh, also launched. And you've actually been, been playing both games. Yeah. Um, but I think we should start out with FIFA because that is probably the game that most people know. Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, so so uh, I know up. nothing about soccer at <laughs> all, but uh, but please tell me what's what's new in this year's edition. Uh, well, in FIFA 13, um, we get the first touch system. Uh, it gets uh, an overhaul and um, it's made even more uh, how to say intuitive. Um, you, when a player needs to to stop the ball, it's. Um, it's jumping away from him more often than before. It's it's one of the new features that even though a player might be one of the best in the world, uh, Messi, Ronaldo, something like that, he can still lose the ball um, because it, it it depends on the situation, how hard the pass is, how you know what angle uh, the ball hits the player from, mm. and, and stuff like that. So so that's one of the biggest um, improvements or. Disadvantages <laughs> of the game. That's uh, that depends. So it pretty much means you have to relearn the game, or is it not that drastic? It's not that drastic, but it's still uh, you need to to cope with it in, in another way. So you need to think about how you, who do you pass to, and and how do you position yourself when the pass comes. So so definitely a change, but uh, I think it's a change for the better. Okay. In in, in the large scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then uh, we have the player impact engine, which is the physics system, um, which also gets uh, some small changes, um, primarily um, the defenders, uh, for example, now position themselves even better than before uh, when the other team attacks and they can now stop uh, an attacking player from running in, in a certain path and then, yeah, you know, like, Take a hold of his shirt or stuff like that. So, it's pretty much, getting better, better at stopping the players. So but, but to me, these sounds like additions that will pretty much uh, only be visible to players who have played the FIFA series before. Is there any like game-changing aspects, any additions to the game this this time around? Uh, they're not the big game-changing uh, things, but that's that's rarely seen in FIFA. Mm. Uh, I think because it's 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 one year. It's more of a evolution than revolution. Yeah. Often, um, and it's the same this year. Um, I think it was last year we got the uh, a new defending system. Yeah. But but they just adds on to that uh, this year. Um, one of the one of the bigger additions in in game modes um, in FIFA 13 is uh, the skill games where you it's it's an improvement of the practice system. We get to, to do these skill tests, um, little mini games that uh, that makes you, you know, like short pass, do short passes, long passes, um, free kicks, penalties. Uh, so so so, and then you get points for each and every mini game, and then you can, um, <coughs> we say, get yeah, high end. It's it's sort of a high score game. Okay. Just, um, but, but kind of yeah. a tutorial, clever tutorial. Yeah, it's it's, it's a good way to, to get new people in uh, to the game. I think yeah. So you will probably do the skill games a lot, <laughs> a lot, and uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's a good way to learn how to cope with the new. Also for for uh, the more experienced players, it's a good way to to learn to cope with the new additions in the play impact system and the the new dribbling system, um, which is uh, 360 dribbling yeah. really fulfilled now. Um, so yeah, I think the, the, there's some some good addi additions to the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, continuing with uh, the newest edition uh, of the Pro Evolution series. Yeah. Um, it used to be that the Pro Evolution series was more about gameplay, mm -hmm. where the FIFA was about presentation and anything. And yeah. I kind of get uh, the thought that it has been mixed up a bit. Like uh, both games are doing everything pretty good now. Yeah, they are definitely trying uh, Konami with the Pro Evolution Saga uh, 2013. They're trying to to get a more like a whole football game. Mm. So it's not just about the gameplay. It's also about what surrounds the gameplay. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure they they really achieved that yet, but but they're coming a long way from you know like 
yeah, compared to, to previous yeah. uh, installments. So, so, so what's, what's, what's the cool things about the new game? Well, many players would like the Champions League, of course. Mm. It's, um, they have the license for Champions League, so they got the official melody, they got the official logos and stuff like that. But I know uh, for me, Pro Evolution is all about gameplay. Mm. It's, uh, because they they lack uh, the s the rights uh, the, yeah, licenses the licenses yeah. for the teams and stuff like that so it's it's more of it's more about the gameplay okay. and, and they really really nails it this year uh, how in in many ways uh, they have uh, one of the biggest things things for me to make this game uh, appealing is um, the the most you know like unpredictability mm -hmm. um, it's it's more unpredictable in every way uh, when you shoot at goal the ball could hit a defender and then change direction but it, it can do that in FIFA too uh, but it's it's more like it's more realistic in, in pro evolution it's if you have played football on, on the real field in the real world you would know that some of these uh, these situations could actually happen yeah. um, and I think that's one of the biggest and, and best things about pro evo this year, um, the, yeah, the game speed has been put down a little bit, uh, okay. and that's actually a pretty good thing um, because it's it's easier to see uh, potential passes um, runs from the uh, attacking players. Mm. And, yeah. and uh, regarding game game modes in Pro Evo, I think they are standing more still this year than than previously. I think it was two years ago they added some new features that they still are using uh, where FIFA has improved on some of their game modes uh, including the FIFA Ultimate Team and and the career mode um, so I think Pro Evo needs to to step up the game to next year uh, to next year's uh, installment because or else they just get left behind and, and uh, this uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a comparison between the two no. but but I know that you love both games. I, I yeah. saw your your reviews. Is is uh, is both games of a quality? That means that even though you might usually buy Pro Evolution or mm. FIFA, you can also buy the other. I think so. Um, yeah. I would definitely play them both. Um, probably for me, FIFA uh, 13 is just a little ahead of uh, Pro Evo, but. Pro Evo has so many features that I like uh, mm. in the game. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of all the game modes, but but the core gameplay is is just superb. So so I would definitely be playing both 